doing a second term for VPPR. But at 2.30, I'm filming another Instagram story for UCF. I literally went ham on Black Friday. Guys, we're literally going to Fujiyama in our pajamas. On the first day of Vlogmas, I like went through a dramatic like just change in my like mindset. Hey guys, happy first day of Vlogmas. I'm up pretty early. It is currently 8.25. We're taking council pictures. So I took outgoing council pictures and now I'm taking incoming council pictures because I'm doing a second term for VPPR, um, which is Vice President of Public Relations. Get emojis in the back. <laughs> but um, I have to put on my new heels and then head out there. I'm going to be taking the pictures of us. So I'm gonna bring my tripod, my phone, because it has like the little app with the remote on it. We're waiting for everyone to get here. Why are you whispering? I don't know. <laughs> We just got done with council pictures and I think they turned out really good. I'm currently importing them on my computer right now. It's taking like a really long time because we did take like 200 pictures, but I feel like I've taken more before, so I don't know why it's taking that long. But in the meantime, I do need to clean up my room because as you can see, it's kind of messy. And after that, I am like determined to get this like five page project done today. So I really wanna get that done before two. It is currently 10.30, so I feel like four hours is like enough if I like actually like focus. I also need to edit a vlog today. It is Vlogmas day one, and I still have a vlog before Vlogmas starts. So I wanna get that up today so that I can start editing like Vlogmas stuff. I definitely have to get used to like vlogging people around me and just like in public just cause like I don't really want my Vlogmas vlogs to be like super short and I really want to get like a lot of good footage but you know I gotta be super confident. I'm starving right now. It is only 10 30 and our meal plan starts at like 11 30. Used to start at 11 but they push it back to 11 30 which is probably good because the later you eat is like the less you get hungry during the day at least for me. So it is 11.48 and my friend's here. Say hi, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> I just sent the pictures to council. I'm gonna post some right now on my Instagram and they look super Christmassy and it just looks so festive and like the house is decorated outside. So we took like some porch pics and I don't know, they just like look really, really cute. So meal plan is smashed sandwiches. Doesn't really sound very appealing, so. Hopefully there's like a pre-made salad or something. We are headed to meal plan. So it's 1 p.m. currently, and I actually just submitted my capital to report for December. So basically we just have to like show um, nationals like all the graphics we make and like the pictures we take and the proofs of the t-shirts we make and the banners we make and just like stuff like that so i just did that i'm feeling super tired though so i think i'm going to take like a really quick nap but at 2 30 i'm filming another instagram story for ucf so i'm probably going to head over there at like 1 45 1 50 because i have a package waiting for me at the mail center it's just some stuff i bought from black friday sales so i'm pretty excited about that i feel like black friday was so long ago and like these packages are taking forever but i'm also very impatient so pretty sure that nap only lasted like 10 minutes or 20 minutes max but i just changed into this plain like black t-shirt dress because when you're on camera you're not really supposed to wear anything super crazy like with any crazy patterns or whatever so i just like threw on this t-shirt dress and I did get a haircut yesterday I don't know if I told you guys but I got more layers in my hair um I got like a really nice haircut at the beginning of um the school year 
and I fell in love with it so now I'm like all up in the layers trend I love it but like right when I get a cut like the bangs like do not go anywhere else but right in my face so it's really annoying so I decided to just like clip it back especially because like when I'm talking and like it's probably windy outside Let's go just got to the mailing center so Let's see if they got my package is this little box I love it I literally went ham on Black Friday on the key site because like all my key glasses are like ruined they're just like scratched up or broken I you know I suck I did go a little bit crazy I think I got like almost five pairs of sunglasses but one of them was free let me know if you guys want like a little try on haul of these sunglasses in the comments down below I can totally do that for you like tomorrow or something like that um, if you guys are curious to see what glasses I got and like how big they are because a lot of them are oversized and I know some people don't like that I personally love it and some people think it doesn't suit me but I'm just like I just wanted to cover my face like that's all I wanted to do um but I'm excited to open these but I'll probably just wait for another vlog to like show you guys all that so we are on the golf cart we have our script Which and is, this is a break right yeah I'm not the best person to ask Sure. Um, okay. But it's our first time filming it on our own, so it shall be fun. All right, we are going to film in the CFE oh, Arena oh, next. Why did these doors have to be open? Oh, well, there, <laughs> there we go. So when we do these little like segments, we have to like predict what's gonna happen. So for the football thing, we say like if they lose and if they win, and then like one part was like about Memphis, and there was like literal Memphis like fans like walking beside us, and I guess they heard like their name, and so they were like kind of like messing around in the background, but like they weren't being filmed because it was just like audio. They thought, you know. <laughs> Finals are almost over, so we. Finals are almost over, so we asked students what they're doing. Finals are almost over, so we're asking students what they're looking forward to. What? Can this you say upcoming it? winter. Finals are almost over, so we're gonna ask students what they're looking forward to this upcoming winter break. Whoa. Finals are almost over, so we're. Finals are almost over, so we're asking students what they're looking forward to this upcoming. So close. <laughs> Finals are almost over, so we're asking students what they're looking forward to this upcoming winter break. <laughs> Guys, we're literally going to Fujiyama in our pajamas. I'm so scared they're going to judge us. I know. They're really going to They are going to. I look fine. like I'm wearing like, what would you call it? Like a, what's it called? A kimono? Yeah, a kimono. Is that what it's called? I think so. Okay, yeah, I literally look like. Like a Japanese doll. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know if this is like pajamas but <laughs> I tried to you know do it with the pants but hers is cuter than mine. So this is my Victoria's Secret. It's gray, it's comfy, it's small. It does look comfy. I want one of these this no, year. Need I need so them. Cool. Are they expensive though? Um I think so. Well not too bad. It's worth it. Yeah, I feel like we've worn it a lot. I do, yeah. Right. Let's see if we get any stairs. <laughs> Here. Coming at you live from Fujiyama. Cheers. Fried rice? You want me to eat chopsticks? No. Are you going to eat with chopsticks? <laughs> Thank you. I think this white sauce is gonna cover one grain of rice. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for covering one sixteenth of my bowl. On the first day of Vlogmas, my roommate came to me. My roommate Chloe, she actually got us this Christmas tree, which is super cute, and I told myself that I'm gonna wait for Vlogmas to start to decorate it. Sorry for the refrigerator noise, but I might as well decorate it now. How cute is this? Like it literally came with little ornaments. It came with 
Yes. That's so cute. Right? on this segment of Vlogmas Day, what? Uno. Oh, Uno. Did you show them your Go Elf Your Girl? <sighs> <laughs> I brought Laura on my channel today. Oh my god, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. She said she changed her life and I want her to share my life change with you. Yeah. Okay. Because I think it's awesome and I'm really happy for you. Oh, thank you. I like went through a dramatic like just change in my like mindset on everything mm -hmm. and so there was like a situation in my life and it just like really got me down and it made me not love the things that I used to love mm -hmm. aka Instagram mm -hmm. um slash like, blogging yeah, yeah. so just that was like kind of like whole realm. yeah that was like my thing to so just like go take pictures and like yeah. made me really happy yeah. and like after that situation, I didn't know if I liked it anymore, and I was, like, in a slump. What do you say? In a slump? Yeah. 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 I was just not feeling myself. In I didn't a rut. Even, yeah, yeah, I didn't even know what I liked to do, and I just, like, not, I wasn't depressed, but I just, like, wasn't having it. What, you weren't you. Yeah, exactly, and so I was, like, trying to figure out who I was again, mm -hmm. it's just, like, so, like, stupid but like I managed to get through it <laughs> and um yeah so I like started focusing on Instagram again and I deleted you guys I deleted like all my social media apps except for Instagram so I could focus more on Instagram but it's like the best thing ever and then I've also just follow been... her on Instagram Laura Z Rawson not Laura, Laura. it's Lara Lara Lara, Lara. Lara. <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, and then I've just, like, been trying to change my mindset on, like, different things in life. Like, I feel like I'm always stressed out about nothing, and mm -hmm. so there's, like, this new rule. It's called the Life 5 changer. <laughs> it's literally so amazing. Mm -hmm. It's called the 5 by 5 rule, and it's basically saying if you don't see yourself getting mad about it in five years, don't spend more than five minutes worrying about it now. And so it's, like, literally, like, what I'm living by right now, and it's iconic i need to literally write that down and like take that to the grave with me because i feel like i focus on like petty stuff yeah no i all like I really spend do. my whole day like being distracted by something like super exactly. petty exactly you know? me as well but yeah so i you know i feel like i've shared like my like little like positivity like plug on my channel before i'm a big proponent in the law of attraction, basically like when you put out positive vibes in the universe, they come back to you. You put out negative vibes in the universe, they come back to you. So just always think of positive things and then like good things will happen to yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. At least you'll start paying more attention yeah, to the good things. Cause like I think that's what it is and just yeah. is a placebo effect. But No, for sure. <laughs> but I feel like if you always think of the negative you only focus on the negative things in life yeah. even if like something little happened that's amazing yeah. like you don't worry about it because you're yeah. so focused on like this negative thing that's happening so in your life but yeah especially now that we're like almost about to graduate she's literally graduating next year this time like next year this time one year she's gonna be like a freaking adult not that she's in right now but no still. i'm not i'm literally <laughs> like it's still a child <laughs> like what the heck it's so crazy yeah like, what do you think you're going to do like, I don't when know. you graduate? I don't know. I'm going to move back to Atlanta. Hopefully get my own apartment. Hopefully with Ryan. But, yeah, I don't know. What about you? I'm going to move to Atlanta with Sonali. <laughs> I literally like, just want, like, every friend I have in Florida so, like, just to, like, me. migrate up with me. Like, I beg of you all. Like Honestly, I feel like that's, like the best place to live that's it's still close to home yeah but you're not it's a big city yeah there's stuff to do you're not in the cool heat jobs. as yeah. badly that's, that's like the main thing that i'm like that's so about. true but like you also, at least get like winter right yeah yeah and you'll like that i love winter but it's like when i go there now i'm like freezing really i need to like go on boohoo and order some coats before i go home because i'm gonna 
freeze my ass off. Like, I, like, during Black Friday, I was, like, I didn't even have, like, any coats because I, like, outgrew them or, like, mm -hmm. gave them to Plato's Closet because I'm, like, not there anymore. But, like, I went home. I had to, like, use, like, Ryan's layer oh jackets God. on myself because I just, like, didn't have any. So, yeah. But, yeah, we're super full off our Fujiyama. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're getting on our feels at dinner, mm -hmm. so thought we would share it with you guys. I'm gonna do a project now and edit another vlog and then edit this vlog and oh then gosh. go cry. Yeah. So yeah. No positive vibes only. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what I just say. <laughs> this was the sign that Laura was talking about. <laughs> go elf yourself, girl. So where do you girl. come up with these ideas? It's not me, it's Chloe. It's my sweet mate. No way, she came yeah. up with it? Yeah. That's amazing. So Laura just found out that I had an apple pencil. <laughs> so this whole time she's been like, Apparently, that's me, guys. <laughs> Show them your face chart. Oh, this is so fun. I did the eyebrows. Oh, wait. Isn't that cool? Laura is an artist. Oh, 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 oh,